Hey everyone, welcome. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. So once in a while, every once in a while, I'll do videos where we talk about penny stocks. Uh, now, if you're new to this channel, this channel is guaranteed 100% to cover every IPO, initial public offerings, new stocks going public on the stock market, and direct listings. So guaranteed for that, but on a daily basis, I come up with many videos, three, four videos. We'll cover IPOs, we'll cover daily stocks already trading, look at what is a buy, what is, a not, what is not a buy. We'll cover at nighttime, maybe we'll have a one crypto video, and so on. So now here, we'll talk about penny stocks. And also, once in a while, we do dividend stocks, everything, but guaranteed IPOs. So subscribe to the channel if you're interested in that uh, sort of content. So top penny stocks. These are top penny stocks according to Robinhood and Webull, right? And I think that's interesting to look at. And um, some of these penny stocks are actually very interesting. Very interesting. They truly, genuinely might have a good oppor uh, opportunity to provide some good returns, right? I say that because most penny stocks are penny stocks for a reason. So be careful when you're um, entering a penny stock. Make sure you do good due diligence. This video is not doing an in-depth analysis on any of these, so don't buy any of this based on this video. You have to you have to do your own due diligence. So Camber Energy Incorporation. It is at $2.08 right now, and just the past three months, it's up $1.39. On August 24th, this thing was $0.34, cents, trading $0.34. Cents. If I would have put $5,000 on it, I would have made a ton of money on it within just a month, and it's now $2.08. Why is this going up? So, Camber Energy Incorporation is an independent oil and natural gas company. It engages in the acquisition, development, and sale of crude oil and natural gas. Natural gas is more, more important out of what I just read than crude oil. Although crude oil is going up, the, uh, the, uh, the, oil per, uh, the, the oil price is going up. Right? I think it's what, $74 uh, a barrel. So, it's gone up. But natural gas prices are skyrocketing. Skyrocketing. And the winter hasn't come yet. And Europe is already saying we have a looming natural gas supply problem and so on. So natural gas is already going up. It's going to go higher during the winter. And Camber Energy just might benefit in just the right time. This might be the year where natural gas stocks will go higher. I think they will. Not that they might. They will go up. And I think the Camber Energy at $2.08 might go higher than that and uh, and uh, just my personal opinion i think it will but you know um i could be wrong but i think it will i mean look at that past three months already 200 percent up yeah that's one unique penny stock i know it's two dollars not a penny stock at two dollars but uh the other ones that i'll show you are they're under one dollar so yeah a very popular one camber energy among guibo and uh, robin hood traders and from their, this is their eps from q2 2020 just constantly going up nice till Q2 2021. There's 15 institutions holding this with seven new institutions recently, uh, institutional holdings getting into the stock. All right, the next one is United States Antimony. Antim Antimony, if I pronounce it right, uh, please correct me. Um, so this is a United States Antimony Corporation. It engages in the exploration, production, and sale of precious metals. But one precious metal that they're into is antimony and uh, it's actually getting a lot of interest lately because of electric vehicles this is the five-year chart you're looking at even if you had invested on this five years ago you'd still be up 76 percent so it's been proving five years now i know very very slowly but it's been proving that you you, you wouldn't have made, you wouldn't have been at a loss all right 84 cents this company mines raw materials with various uses one of these is uh, in batteries. So one of the raw materials that they mine is used and needed for electric vehicle batteries. Based on this, it has gotten a lot of discussion and so on. With, with no leading source of antimony in the United States, this presents an interesting opportunity for companies like U.S. antimony. China, Russia, and Tajikistan more or less have control over the world's antimony supply, uh, supplying more than 90% of this, so uh, in the global production and so on. So maybe this would be, you know, it is a U.S. company and maybe there would be uh, an in increased focus in that so that the United States, let's say, wouldn't have to say to China, Russia, can you please give me um, this uh, natural resource and so on. 
Now the EPS from their Q2 2020 going to Q2 2021 took a steep dive and finally got back to the previous levels and so on. Institutional holdings on this stock is 20 with uh, and it has increased by three lately. Next, we're going to talk about Grand Tierra Energy. Grand Tierra Energy Incorporation engages in the exploration and production of oil natural gas in Colombia and Ecuador. It holds interest in the assets located in the middle. So Grand Tierra, 67 cents, one year chart. It is going very, very good. If you invested in it last year, it would, you would be up over 160%, 159.6%. So Grand Tierra Energy focuses on oil and gas exploration and production. Right now, it's developing a portfolio of assets in, Colum in Colombia and Ecuador. Heading into the final uh, quarter of the year, Grand Tierra has strong tailwinds giving it a boost. The company also reaffirmed that its full year production guidance of 27.5K to 28.5K barrels of oil per day with a capital program range of 130 to 150 million dollars. So they predict that they'll have an increase in production and so on in sales and so on. So if we look at their EPS from Q3 2020 to Q3 of 2021, it's just been up and down all over the place. The institutional holdings is insane on this one. 127 institutional holdings increased by 30 and so on. A lot of institutional investors think that this stock has plenty of room to grow. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Next is Bore Drilling. Bore Drilling engages in the provision of offshore drilling services in the sea when it says offshore, all right, you know, in the oceans uh, for oil and gas industry. 80 cents. I don't know why, but I remember, I think, I feel like we talked about this stock before. If we, if any of you guys have seen, if any of you have um, been watching me for a while and, and let me know, did I talk about this? I've, I've talked about so many stocks every day, I forget. Uh, but I feel like I did. So it's been a year now. It's at 80 cents. And their one year increase is 23%. As of the end of August, Bohr has been awarded 28 new contracts as of the end of August. And this represents 6,300 days of potential backlog and $542 million in revenue, excluding unexercised options, periods, and so on and so on. So it seems to be getting a lot of business. Institutional holdings is 37 and the EPS from Q3 2020 to Q3 2021 has been steadily in an increase. And the next stock we're going to talk about is Siren LTD. It engages in the provision of cloud-based security solutions. Its products include web and electronic mail security, cyber intelligence suit, malware attack detection, mobile security, uniform resource locator filter, phishing intelligence feed, anti-spam, and so on. It is at 61 cents. It had a one big pop here, but yeah, 61 cents. It's been up 25% the past one month, right? 61 cents, 25% up the past month. The EPS is just, okay, nothing special. It's not really actually growing as a company. It's been steady. Institutional holdings at 29. This is, might be interesting because of the whole cybersecurity sector set to boom for the next decade and so on uh, because of uh, increased cybersecurity threats from outside the United States and, and, and maybe within, but from outside mostly. Uh, so this is a stock to maybe gain and benefit from the boost in the sector and at 61 cents might be attractive for those looking at bargains. So that's it. Top penny stocks from uh, top penny stocks from Robinhood and Webull. Thank you very much for watching this video. Tell, let me know in the comment section below which ones do you like uh, the most and I wish you guys a great Sunday. Take care.